Hello, VIPs. Now, it's darker now. You're probably wondering, or you probably don't care, but the fan is on as always and whatnot. You're probably wondering why it seems so dark in here. And normally all my lights are off, but it's because it's three in the morning. Yeah. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Yesterday, I'm gonna keep a more quiet tone. Yesterday, um, my period had hit me. And I'm gonna just be real on this fucking video. I don't even give a shit anymore. Period had hit me. And normally on the first day of my period is the most painful. And I could not eat. Like, it's kind of... It's not that I didn't want to. Because every time I try to consume something, my stomach would say no. And so, yeah, I could not eat much of anything. I had some good as Like, I had a chicken tender. And I couldn't eat it. Because every time I put it in my mouth, I was just like, man. My stomach would say, like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Don't ever put that duck in your mouth. I was like, oh, my gosh. But, yeah. I couldn't eat last night. So, I fell asleep after everything and when I fell asleep I woke up uh this is embarrassing to say I woke up eight hours afterwards or is it no it's 12 it's been 12 hours because I fell asleep around 2 and I woke up at 2 a.m so yeah also my hair is braided my sister did my hair on Friday I don't even know if y'all can hear me because I got the heater on as always it's always the heater if you hear the air in the back it's always the heater it's always the heater it's always cold in here and it's cold outside random days but then the sun be out it's still cold like bitch what the fuck what is with the weather but child anyways i have food from friday they had a party gras a party gras mardi gras um food dinner and whatnot they had gumbo they had chicken tenders they had a type of pizza that i forgot it's a chicken shredded cheese pizza it has cheese all over it i love it and it has some seasoned potatoes and corn. Oh my gosh. And I tried to eat it yesterday. And bitch, my stomach wouldn't let me. I was so mad. I was so mad. Now, usually I'd be talking about things that I love. Like, you know, some sort of fantasy. I would even be talking about my Teen Wolf thing. But fuck no, I can't. Um, I literally can't right now. I can't focus on anything right now. Because yeah. I can't. Hold on. Now this time around, I'm not going to go into extreme detail, like explaining how, like where the pain was located with the period and whatnot, even though I may in another video for like educational purposes and whatnot. But to give backstory, freshman year was the worst of it too, because it, it hit me like right after my class. I was in chemistry. It hit me right after chemistry lab. And I was, I was walking back to my dorm room and whatnot. My dorm room was 15 minutes away from the actual chem lab and whatnot. It hit me. And then I almost, like, I was trying to throw up. My body was trying to throw up. I wasn't trying to throw up. My body was trying to throw up as I was walking. And I didn't. I didn't. I'm not going to. I didn't do all that. But it was trying to because of what I ate. Normally, I don't eat breakfast, like, eggs and whatnot I, I just eat whatever i can grab so it's like if i have a um granola bar i eat that if i have a hershey's kiss i eat that it's whatever i never throw up like my body doesn't reject it ever but then for some reason this day it was rejecting it really bad like my my stomach was like bitch why the fuck would you do that to me it just put to me if i fucking i can't i can't but as i got back to my thing i never threw up which i'm so glad for i like my bed was higher, so I passed out of it, and I, my gosh, I, my bed was higher, so I passed out on it, and then I woke up about seven hours later, and then it's like, during that seven hours, I, I never woke up to like go get some food, by the way, so I was really hungry, and then I had to clean up and whatnot, and then, yeah, so it's the same thing, it hasn't been this bad since freshman year, and I am a sophomore, um, my second semester so it's like i'm about to be a third year and whatnot so yeah 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 don't we love that pain <laughs> torture don't we love that <laughs> ah! no, I'm just oh my gosh i mean it's so fucking weird but around this time oh my gosh maybe it's because like my period i'm so this is just gonna be period talking video and whatnot i'm but i'm never actually gonna talk about the actual blood thing or anything um 
I usually am so emotional on the, these five days, only go through five days and whatnot. I'm literally so emotional that I be watching shit that's so sad. Like, I there's one called Dororo. No, not that. Oh my gosh, hold on. Dororo, not Dorara. Dorara is goaded. Oh my gosh. It's an older anime. But this other anime is a tragic. Like, he's even more tragic than Dorara. I don't even think Dorara is tragic. Dororo is tragic. It's about this dude who, like, he's missing 48 limbs and whatnot from when he's a baby because his father had sold all his limbs to a bunch of demons. And so, like, he basically grows up like a husk. Like, it's so weird to describe it. He's missing some organs. He's missing all his limbs and whatnot. He's even missing his eyes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so sad. And then he was adopted by, I, I would say he's a farmer, but I think he's more of a weapons specialist. Um, weapons. It's also back in like, you know, um, Maihi era. Oh my gosh, I'm saying it's so wrong. This takes place in Japan. It's during an era where they didn't have cars. They didn't have industrialization. It was literally just, you know, pathway, forest, they rode on horses type shit like you know they have wooden homes and stuff this one he was a weapon specialist or he made he was a blacksmith why keep saying weapon specialist but anyways he had basically picked up this corpse because that's what the baby was the baby was a corpse right but the baby's not named Dororo Dororo oh my gosh his name is Hyakimaru and it's so sad I can't I can't it's so sad and I wouldn't watch it but I know then what I'm gonna watch it because I'm on my period. I know that any other day I would not watch it because I would literally cry. But my period, for some reason, I'd be wanting to watch like depressing ass anime that will make me cry even more. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? But like, child, anyways, I um, I really wanted to shoot for this video to be 10 minutes, since I'm like, if I shoot it for any longer, it's basically gonna be me doing my work and being here like all day, and I'm I'm gonna be up until like. 10 so yeah and it's three o'clock right now i'm gonna be up till 10 because i've been sleeping i've slept for over eight hours yesterday so i i, I if i go back to sleep it's not gonna be good i have to eat <laughs> i have to eat something i didn't really eat yesterday um because yesterday you know how i mentioned freshman year i didn't throw up guess what i did yesterday i actually did throw up yesterday it was terrible but yeah anyways it's horrible oh my gosh because i drink orange juice i put pomegranate juice in my orange juice and i never throw up from, from it and but yesterday i i drunk water before i drunk my orange juice so i was like what the fuck why am i what is happening man what is happening what is going on i can't and it's only because of the pain from my uterus so it's like yeah but whatever i'm still getting food off of here by the way um, there it goes. Oh my gosh. I've been thinking about this food all yesterday. I was gonna, I actually pulled out my, um, I got it from the cafeteria. I actually pulled out my lunchbox to go eat this fucking food. And then I had to put it back in the fridge because my stomach hit me with the one-two combo and said, bitch, no, what are you trying to do? Like, what are you trying to accomplish here? Type of thing. But y'all, anyways, yeah. I'm also gonna do some work too. I have an essay. That I have to do that I feel almost no motivation for so yeah it's an inquiry essay and when I tell you when I tell you Thursday is when we had to have 750 words accomplished when I tell you I could barely get out the 250 because every time I went to my evidence and actually explaining it I could not say it in a way I would I would read it and stuff like that. Yes, it's for the teacher to read, but if I can't even comprehend it myself, the teacher's not going to comprehend it at all. Like, that's the thing. That's how I am with it. So, as I was typing it, I kept erasing it because I was just like, damn, do you not know English, bitch? Like, I, I was like, do you not know how to speak English? So, I was typing it over and over, and I finally got to, like, what I was trying to say in my first paragraph, and then I realized, oh, yeah, we needed 750 words. That was on Tuesday. We needed 750 words by Thursday. Thursday came around. I had a good 250. I'm not promoting this. This is not like, oh yeah, you should totally do this type of behavior. This is more so like, do not fuck up like how I did um, type of behavior. Because now you're going to have to be making up for the rest of it like I am. 
the second draft is it's since it's Sunday, second draft is due tomorrow. So it's like no rush. <laughs> no rush. Uh, but I'm motivated now because honestly I did no work last night. La yesterday, not even last night, yesterday, because of my period pain. So <laughs> no. but what I am trying to say is that if there are times where you could push past your period pain, please do. Because for the past two months, I have not felt this bad. Because every time it would come on and every time the pain would, like, hit me, because it mainly hits my back and bottom area, every time the pain would hit me, I would say, no, you're not going to fucking do this today. Sorry, I'm cursing a lot. Oh, my gosh. You're not going to do this today. And so I would basically go about my day and then I would push down the pain and then it would go away. And I was just like, okay, like, persevering through the fucking pain. Yesterday, I couldn't do that shit. So I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And every time I tried to, it hit harder. And I did not take any medicine at all those past two months. Like, when I take medicine, it prolongs the... It makes it from five days to seven days of just pain. And instead of just, like, the first day of my period being the only painful day, it ends up going to, like, my second and third day being the painful days. So, yeah... So yeah, I, I yes, this is my this is me complaining. Y'all be fine, y'all be fine. There, is, I know there are some videos where I'm honestly talking about something, and it's basically me practically complaining. And I'm sorry for those days. I should be talking more about the happy days. Of course, there are videos where I'm talking about the happy days, but then again, you may not see it because I have 300 fucking videos. So it's like, uh. So yeah, but you know, this one, I I don't think I've ever done one that was like late night, like actually late night. I should, I will show you my food, no. Um, it does not, it does not look that appetizing. <laughs> I have gumbo, it does not, it, it, in, in a chicken tender that looks malnourished, so it doesn't look that appetizing because it's been in the fridge for uh, over two days, so it's like, yeah, but it's fine, um, yeah, be alright. I can explain it to you. I, I already mentioned it earlier. Chicken tender, pizza, corn, half-eaten corn. I didn't realize I eat that much. Um, seasoned potato, gumbo, hush puppy. I actually had one hush puppy left. Those hush puppies were, oh my gosh, they were so good. Um, I think that's it. I also have ranch. I'm not eating that ranch. <laughs> I'm not eating that ranch, man. Most of it's gone, bro. The rest is rice that I am not really going to eat. So yeah, I was gonna use that rice to make some fried rice. No, <laughs> just I, I literally can't. Um. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna shoot to make this 15 minutes. I would say that I never actually sh like get it on that time. But anyways, I'm not promoting any of this. I'm not promoting like bad eating habits or anything, or like you know waking up at three just to eat and whatnot. I'm gonna get that later. It's gonna beep. Um, it's gonna beep. I'm gonna get that later. Um, not promoting this at all. And when I woke up, it was two o'clock, right, right on the dot, two a.m. And I had basically like stayed up, finally got out of bed, two thirty-seven, cleaned up, used the bathroom, all that. Then I drank my orange juice. Now I'm eating, and it's like three. It's in, like over an hour later. And yeah, you know, and I have to do that so that if I just eat out the gate and stuff like that, I probably throw up again. So it's like I don't want to do that shit. So yeah, I'm not promoting this at all. If you are on your period, push through it. If the pain is too unbearable, then let yourself go through that pain unless you have to go somewhere. I didn't. It's the weekend. I didn't have to go anywhere um, at all. I don't know why I keep looking right here. The camera's right there. I didn't have to go anywhere at all. So I could go through this pain it was a saturday saturdays i usually take a break and lay down anyway but yeah i like yeah i went through the pain and then uh it got past it after i basically passed out for seven hours or yeah, over seven hours or whatnot so yeah and to make another video on this i'm gonna make another video where i'm talking about like oh yeah you know where exactly it's located the pain is and why that is because it's due to your inside where some parts are located that women have that men don't and whatnot like you know uterus all that is where they're located and that's why you could feel that pain more so in a certain area but i'm gonna talk about that and i don't make another youtube video because it has something to do with my assignment so watch out for that it's gonna be random and it's gonna have nothing to do with my other content most of my stuff doesn't have anything to do with my other content 
But yeah, anyway, may peace be with you for an eternity.